Hello. Uh, this is the work of one of my advices entitled Relationship Between Language Anxiety and Online Addiction Among College Students in Panaba City. So positive impacts such as learning motivation and satisfaction may promote students' involvement in learning. Also, foreign language anxiety was defined as a sense of fear and tension when learning a foreign language. According to the researcher, that 53% of video game players spend more time, uh, more than six hours playing on uh, playing online. Then the researchers estimate that 700 million people, or equivalently, that is 44% of the global online population, playing video gaming online, uh, video games online. And then students actively use social media and play video games, including online multiplayer. Then, on the other hand, a study conducted in the Philippines concluded that games are one of the technologies that require industry attention while also raising concern among parents and other stakeholders like universities regarding their impact on student academic performance, whether they are adult or students hooked to online gaming. Uh, also, internet players face massive physical, academic, psychosocial, and inter personal conflicts that resulted in psychological distress but were trapped in the game. So for the conceptual framework, so these are uh, to be considered in language anxiety. We have tension, apprehension, nervousness, and worry. While well, in online gaming addi add addiction, uh, we have addiction, need for advancement, need for mastering the mechanics, need for relationship, and need for escapism. And these are uh, this where the uh, moderating variables. So we have gender, year level, and institute. So for the research questions to be considered in this study, so research question number one, what is the demographic profile of the participants of the study in terms of gender, year level, and institute? Research question number two, what is the level of language anxiety in terms of tension, apprehension, nervousness, and worry? So for research question number three, what is the level of online game addiction in terms of addiction, need of advancement, need for mastering the mechanics, need for relationship, and also the need of escapism? Research question number four, is there a significant relationship in the level of language anxiety when grouped according to gender, year level, and institute? Research question number five, is there a significant relationship in the level of online game addiction when grouped according to gender, year level, and institute? And lastly, for research question number six, is there a significant relationship in the level of language anxiety and the level of online game addiction among college students in Panabo City? So for the materials and methods, this study aims to determine the relationship between anxiety in language and online game addiction among college students in Panabo City. And then the design used by the researcher was quantitative research design. And then the researcher used proposive quota sampling methods to avoid bias intent and to collect accurate and reliable data. And this study includes 121 college student respondents in Panabo City, particularly in Davao del Norte State College. The researcher have received respondents from 71 female and 50 men. So for the statistical treatment used in the study, uh, we have frequency and percentage to compute the demographic profile of the participants, mean uh, for determining the level of language anxiety and also uh, in level of online gaming addiction. For ANOVA to test the significance level of language anxiety, also the level of online game addiction according to gender, year level, and institute. And for the person R, to determining the relationship between the language anxiety and online game addiction among college students in Panabo City. So for the materials the researcher used and the data collection tools were online survey questionnaire. Then researchers ask for consent from the respondents when the respondents are online. So these are now the results and discussion. So for the left side, uh, we have figure one, the graphs of demographic profile of the participants. So as you can see here, the majority in gender, the majority respondents are female, 
we have 58.68%, followed by, followed by the male respondents, we have 41.32%. So for the year level, the majority here, uh, we have second year students, uh, we have 44.63%. While for and next, uh, we have first year, uh, we have 33.88%. Next, uh, we have third year college students. Uh, we have 17.36%. And lastly, the least one, uh, we have the fourth year students. We have 4.13%. So for the institute, the majority of the respondents are IC students. We have 41.32%, followed by ILEG students. So we have 33.06%. Uh, next, uh, we have the ITED students. We have 19.84%. And lastly, the IAS, uh, we have 5.79%. So for the level of language anxiety, so based on, uh, according to tension, uh, the mean uh, is 3.46. And this means that it has a high level of language anxiety. For a patient, uh, pension, so it has a mean of 3.246. And this means that it has a moderate level of language anxiety. So for nervousness, uh, we have 3.597. And this means that it has a high level of language anxiety. Then for worry, we have 3.689. And this means that it has a high level of language anxiety. So overall, uh, we have three. it has a mean of 3.492. And this means that it has a high level of language anxiety. In terms of tension, apprehension, nervousness, and worry. So for online gaming addiction, so we have the addiction. It has a mean of 2.853. And this means that it has a moderate level of online game addiction. And for adva advancement, uh, advancement needs, so it has a mean of 2.686. And it has a moderate level of online game addiction. Also for mastery needs, it has a mean of 3.114. And it has a moderate level of online game addiction. So for relationship, so we, it has a mean of 2.688. And it has a moderate level of online game addiction. And lastly, for escapism, uh, we have uh, 3.326. And it has a moderate level of online game addiction. So the overall mean here is 2.933. And therefore, it has a moderate level of online game addiction. According to addiction, advancement needs, mastery needs, relationship, and in escapism. So, to find the significance in the level of language anxiety according to gender, so for the tension, our p value here will be uh, 0 0.594. And take note, 0 0.594 is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, uh, tension has does not significant, has not have not significant relationship no in the level of language anxiety according to gender also for apprehension uh, it has a p value of 0 0.739 therefore apprehension does not affect the level of language anxiety according to gender so for nervousness we have a p value of 0 0.663 and this, this is also greater than 0 0.05 therefore it does not affect our nervousness does not affect the level of language anxiety according to gender. And lastly, for worry, it has a p-value of 0 0.103. And this is also greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, worry does not affect the level of language anxiety according to gender. Observe that all p-values here are greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, language anxiety does not affect the level of language anxiety in according to gender. So for the uh, significance in the level of language anxiety according to year level and institute. So for year level, uh, it has a p-value of 0 0.346 and 0 0.346 is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, uh, year level does not affect the level of language anxiety. Also, the institute, uh, we have 0 0.420. Therefore, uh, institute does not affect the level of language anxiety according to institute. So, for the game ex experience, uh, we have addiction. It has a p-value of 0 0.378. Therefore, uh, 
it does not uh, addiction does not affect the in the level of online game addiction according to gender uh, in advancement that we have 0 0.009 and this p value known this is less than 0 0.009 and this means that advancement can af advancement can affect online game a level of online game addiction according to gender so mastery uh, we have 0 0.0 Zero seventy two, and this was uh, this is greater than zero point zero five. Therefore, mastery does not affect the level of online game addiction according to gender. Also, the relationship uh, it has a p value greater than zero point zero five. Therefore, relationship does not affect the level of online game addiction according to gender. And escapism, uh, we have zero point two one nine, and escapism does not affect the level of online game addiction according to gender. So, overall, only the advancement can affect the level of online game addiction according to gender. So, for year level and institute, so for year level, no, uh, we have the p-value of 0 0.422 and this means that it, uh, it does not affect the level of online game addiction according to year level. Also, in Institute, uh, it has a p-value of 0 0.420, and this is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, uh, Institute does not affect in the level of online game addiction. So, for Scatter, uh, figure 2 shows the scatter plot between the language anxiety and online game addiction. As you can observe that, scatter plot here shows uh, has a positive correlation or positive relationship. But it has, uh, it doesn't know, or it has insufficient evidence to prove that it has a significant relationship between the language anxiety and online game addiction. So to prove that, uh, we have to solve per, no, no, R value by using person R. So table 8 you know, shows the significance between the language anxiety and online game addiction. So the R value here uh, will be 0 0.500. And P value will be is less than 0 0.001, which is obviously less than 0 0.05. So therefore, it is significant. So for the conclusion, uh, based on findings, uh, the results were able to present the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of gender, year level, and institute. Uh, the results also presented a high level of language anxiety among college students in Panabo City. Uh, it has a moderate level of online game addiction among college students in Panabo City. Also, uh, the results were able to present no significant relationship on the level of language anxiety according to gender, year level, and institute. Also, no, uh, the results were able to present no significant relationship on the level of online addiction when grouped according to gender, year level, and institute. And then the results presented a moderate positive relationship between a language anxiety and online game addiction among college students in Panabo City based on figure 2. And then for recommendation, uh, school administrators could investigate and acknowledge alternative approaches to designing numerous activities programs and policies in school that may help students students maximize their interest, motivations, and confidence in class. Also, uh, instructors could have a better understanding on how to incorporate this spiral progression into their instruction by being resourceful, innovative, and up-to-date on current practices. Also, uh, students may develop the purpose of study in relevant activities that could do their competence in such a way that they may overcome their fear in class and exhibit appropriate ways of respect. And lastly, for further study, it may consider the study integrating the data mining. And these are the references. So that's all for our presentation.